been so long. So much time has passed since the last one of these. So much has changed. Everything is different now. But the real question is how the fuck do I compete with my last one of these? What up, party people? My name is Jack D, and today we're doing a try not to cry challenge, just like it says down there. So I've wanted to do one of these for quite a long time after I did the last one and it got so much love. But the thing is, I'm not a huge crier. Like, I. Nothing against crying. And if something sad happens, I will cry. But, like, I don't just explode and cry like a prepubescent schoolgirl for no reason. If any prepubescent schoolgirls are out there and that affected you, then. Yeah, shh. Shh. Just. Shh, it's okay. I'm really nervous about doing this Try Not To Cry challenge because the reason the last one really got to me is because it hit me on a personal level. <laughs> and if the Try Not To Cry challenge doesn't hit me on a personal level, I'm fairly certain I won't cry. Because I'm not just going to cry if I see something sad, unless I'm emotionally involved in it, like a TV show or something. Like I was watching Doctor Who the other day, and I'd seen this episode so many times, but when Rose, Tyler, is left on Bad Wolf Bay, and the doctor is like, Bruce Tyler, and then can't say that he loves her. Fuck. I was gone. I was gone. Fucking gets me every time. And now you guys know something else about me. I'm an insane Doctor Who nerd. And if you still don't believe me... That's right. <laughs> Fucking Matt Smith screwdriver. He probably wants that back, actually. But yeah, man. Let's just do this and see how it goes. This video is in keeping with... The theme I've got going already with the one video, I don't really know if that counts as a theme, but the last video was a Jacksepticeye Try Not To Cry Challenge, and as you can see down the bottom here it says Markiplier Try Not To Cry Challenge, and probably something witty after that, I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's do this. Look, I just want to say, this is awesome, to see that really big YouTubers get this emotionally involved with their, with their fans. That's one of the reasons Jacksepticeye is like my top, in my top three YouTubers. So is Markiplier. This was a heavy loss that we all feel and all of you out there probably feel because in in small ways that you probably didn't know Daniel was part of what I did a big part of what I did and Daniel like he uh, he did a lot of things that were often unseen and I just hope that he knew how much I respected him as a friend uh, anyway just thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for understanding, and we will be back. Just send a lot of love, you know, send a lot of love towards the other guys. They're, they really need it now. <clears throat> and just thank you guys so much for being patient. Okay, pause really right there. I just want to say that any of you guys, you might know people who tell you that crying is a form of weakness, crying... You know, men don't cry, real women don't cry. That's fucking bullshit, man. Crying is a natural bodily response, and you should never be ashamed of it. Just saying. Why do I do the snappy fingers? Anyway, play. I was thinking about my trip to the White House and how I was in Washington, D.C., and I, I, I went around and I saw the monuments and the memorials, and I, and I saw all of them, and... The entire time I was there, I couldn't help but think and how there was only one person in the world that I would have wanted to see me there, and 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 I couldn't stop thinking about how how proud my dad would have been of me to be there and invited out to the White House because he was like the biggest patriot anyone could have ever been. The entire time I was there, I couldn't help but think and. How there was only oh, one he's got in the world people reacting to it. To see me there, and, and, and I couldn't stop thinking about how how proud my dad would have been of me to be there and invited out to the White House because he was like 
the biggest patriot anyone could have ever been. He was a 24-year military man, and you know, he never really agreed with what the government was doing and what anyone. Oh gosh, I'm gonna start crying. Don't. I'll in cry him. enough he for the both of us. That. Before that became a joke that really meant something to him. Uh, you know, just seeing all these people here is. just saying about his dad about losing his dad um like i haven't lost my dad i'm living with him now um but last year he got diagnosed with um melanoma and in case you don't know what melanoma is it's a it's an aggressive cancer that is from being in the sun too long and he had it cut out but the doctors told him it's you know it's very very possible and sometimes even likely that it'll come back and when it does come back in people and if it comes back in you it'll go straight for your liver or heart or brain um, and it'll kill him And honestly, I've held it together pretty well, and I've, I haven't, I haven't told my family that it was just getting to me, but it was one thing to hear that he had it, it was another thing to hear that it's a high likelihood that it can come back, and if it does, it'll kill him, because now it just feels like a waiting game. I don't know, I shouldn't be crying over that shit, man. It's just... <laughs> Every day just feels like a... Every day just sort of feels like a, um... A waiting game. Because we go out and we... Go and work on, he's got a property about an hour away and we go out there and we're working on that all the time and um, he's a lot more careful about um, covering up so he doesn't get it but that it's so possible it could come back and if it comes back and there's nothing we can do. I can't, I can't think to what it could feel like to lose someone like that, because I haven't, but just the thought of not having him around, or the thought of that, you know, any day it could come back and kill him, and I end up losing my best friend. Ever since it happened, he got it cut out, and life just felt like a waiting game. Just not knowing when, or if, or how it will come back. Honestly, I'm... I'm really, really scared. I don't know that... A couple of my friends are subscribed to this channel, and if you're watching this now, um, this should go without saying, but you know me and you know my family. Keep what I've told you now to yourself. 
That's not because it's a secret or anything like that. That's just because this is really personal for me. And I know I'm sharing this on the internet, so how could I make it personal? But well, how could I keep it personal? But if any of my close friends who are watching this and know my family, please, I just ask that you keep this to yourself. Not that I really kept it to myself. But I'm just asking you to show that much respect for me. Fuck. Three minutes in and I lost it. Every time I do one of these, I never think I'm actually going to lose it. A few months back, I was extremely, extremely depressed. And that's not just like momentary sadness. That was extreme crippling depression that I hadn't felt in quite a long time. So I used to suffer from it a lot and... As weird as it sounds, the one thing that was keeping me going, the one thing that would make me smile is watching people like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and all these people and it, the way they treated the audience and the way they treated their fans was as if it was their best friend who was right there in the room with them and I didn't have anyone who was treating me like that at the time. I pushed so many people away and to the point where these people that I've never met, just watching them have fun during their stupid videos, that was a highlight of my day. <sighs> so for him to say this, and so honestly you can see that he really cares about his audience members and his fans, because I've been one of those fans that needed someone and only had them, and they really do get you through it. I know that sounds like bullshit, I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you uh, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, um, show a friend. More importantly, leave a comment, because I love hearing your comments, guys. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.